I think to be an architect is a great thing. What you find every day more that everybody is more and more specialized. And architects, we still, still have the opportunity to be generalists, I mean, to, to be able to know a little bit about everything. And I love to be an architect, and I, and I enjoy my profession, and I enjoy the way in which my profession makes me see the life, and how I pay attention to the dimension of things, or to the shape of the things, not just building, but uh, a pencil or a, a table. architect and I teach from time to time, now and then, always as a visiting professor. I don't like her when I hear professors to say that they learn a lot from their students. I think that's the, that's the other way back, yeah? that's the word upside down, no? It should be just the other way. But anyhow, it's good to be modest and sometimes surprise arise that you, you didn't expect. Cities are uh, fragmentary and narrative, and too many times architects uh, bring to the building themselves this kind of telling story system that I think that really belongs to the city but doesn't belong to architecture. If cities are narrative, it's because buildings themselves are unitarian. Time. Time is different for architecture than it is for other arts. For instance, if you take a painting and you have to restore it, it's obvious that uh, probably you should let what is restored uh, more or less evident to what is to the previous painting or the existing part of the painting. No? But in architecture, buildings have a life and there are different interventions on it during the time. And I think that contrast, uh, just a position there, a little bit tools that uh, Architects, modern architects, uh, probably have abused a little bit. He's always kind of making us get back to reality. Uh, and he's, he keeps repeating that we have to look at things from the eye of the architect. And that's, that's something that nobody said before. When I finished my studies to open your own practice, was, everybody did that. Uh, it was the architects we, we studied for that. Now it's every day more, more and more difficult because uh, offices must be bigger to be able to compete and uh, the difficulties of the discipline are, are higher. But what I have to say to young people is that uh, they really feel a vocation and they feel happy with what they do. Probably it's, it's a great thing to, to to work a few years in other offices and to learn the métier. And afterwards, if they are strong enough and they feel strong enough to try by themselves, that would be the, the advice.